building a friend out of these computer parts. Computers have parts? They sure do. Maybe this will explain. It was the beginning of a new school year at Horton Elementary. Good Computer and Drop were roaming the building looking for their old friend Sarah. They hadn't seen her since the end of last school year. Good Computer was surprised to find Sarah in the hallway. She didn't look as together as she usually does. What are all those things on the ground? Drop asked. Those are parts. Computers are made up of them. We'll have to put Sarah back together, part by part, Good Computer responded. Good Computer and Drop started to put Sarah back together. The first part they grabbed was her tower. The tower of a computer contains the CPU. It's kind of like the computer's brain. It tells the other parts what to do. The next part the two friends attached was the monitor. Monitors display information and video. They're kind of like a TV screen. The third part Good Computer and Drop installed was the CD slash DVD drive. The CD slash DVD drive lets you play music, games, and even movies on your computer. The last two parts the boys attached were the keyboard and the computer mouse. The mouse can click, scroll, and track movement on the screen. It is a very useful tool. The keyboard lets you type letters, numbers, and symbols. It also lets you input commands to the computer. Let's plug her in, Drop said. Sarah booted up. Whoa, that was a long time to be powered off. Thanks for the help, guys. With Sarah now fully functional, the three friends set off down the hallway to see what other adventures they could find. They had heard Mrs. Schnurr needed some help. There are lots of other computer parts, and they all serve a specific purpose. Yeah, like speakers are used for sound and hard drives are used to store information. Yup. Now if you'll excuse me, I've got to get back to my parts. You don't talk much, do you? <laughs>